hello guys welcome to our channel today in this video we are going to talk about Jotro which is one of the reference manager very similar to InNote or uh, Manly and the good thing about Jotro is uh, it is completely free and very very easy to use and especially for those of you uh, who are new to citation and referencing and who cannot afford InNote Jotro is really good because it is free easy to use and it ticks all the boxes that are required to create good citation and referencing for your essay or manuscript or journal article whatever you are writing so what i'm gonna do today is i'm gonna show you how to install zotro in your computer and how to add zotro connector to your uh, web browser and also uh, i'll talk about zotro plugin because that is required if you are writing um, your manuscript or essay using Microsoft Word and Microsoft Word needs that plugin. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how it works and what I will show you is I'll show you how to use Jotro to add citation, different kind of citations and different kind of references in your manuscript or essay or, or journal articles. So let's uh, first install Jotro to your computer. For that you need to go to Google Chrome. And then go to Google. And type Jotro download. And when you click the first link, you will see the setup file, Jotro connector, and also the plugin that can be used for Microsoft Word. So let's first uh, download Zotro uh, 5.0 version for Windows. So if you click the setup file, so now you can see Zotro application popping up in your computer. So let's see how it looks like. So this is how the Zotro will look like and it is extracting information from my previous account. Um, I'll show you how it looks like uh, if it is when it is not connected to any account in a matter of second. But before that let's add Zotro connector to your Google Chrome. So to, to see any extension you, you can click here. You can see here it's already here. Um, in my account, I'm gonna remove from Chrome for now. And if you click this icon, now you can't see any Jotaro connector. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this um, link again and I'm gonna install Chrome connector. And click add to Chrome, add extension. And now you can see here, it's already been added to your Chrome, Google Chrome. And if you click this extension, you can see Zotero connector here. And this Zotero connector is really important because when you are um, browsing for the articles and when you click Zotero connector, it will directly um, download those articles to your Zotero application. That's why Zotero connector is really important. Otherwise you have to do everything manually. And now let's go to the plugin. And this plugin, um, as I already mentioned, is really important when you are writing papers using Microsoft Word. I'm gonna take you to the Microsoft for now. And you can see Jotro plugin is already installed. When uh, Most of the time when you are installing Jotro application, it will be already installed. And if you click here, it will look like this. And sometimes for some reason, if it is not uh, installed, if Jotro plugin is not installed, what you can do is you can go to Google Chrome and you can um, browse plugins. And if you go on the right, you can see word processor and writing integration. Click here If you go up. Um, you can see Jotro word processor plugins for Microsoft Word. So click here 
and then if you go down you can click this manually installing Jotro word processor plugin so as you can see here there is a step one two three four five six so if you follow those steps um, you can install um, Jotro plugin to your word which looks like this all right so let's see how the Jotro looks like so this is uh, the view of Jotro application in your computer now it is showing my previous file uh, as you can see here there are already library created which is from my previous uh, username and password so what I'm going to do is I'm unlinking everything for that uh, I need to go to edit and go to preference and go to sync and then you can see uh, the username and password option here so I'm gonna add um, so you can create an account so let's create an account first so that's gonna be your username but before that you need to um, click on the link that is sent to your email so let's go to the email so it says welcome to Zotro and then if you click this link now your Zotro username and password is validated and it is successful so you can use that username and password to create a new account in Jotro so let's go to Jotro again let's go to edit let's go to preference and let's type your username so which is this so 22 and password whatever password you are using and then click setup syncing so that here now new things is popping up and which is asking me to remove all the data from previous account so let's remove all the data and let's switch account now you can see this is a completely new Jotro application so it is um, how it looks like and if you go on the left side here you you have a section where you can add your library you can add different folders and in the middle section there is a plus icon where you can add if you want to add book or journal article or newspaper article if you are citing those things and on the right side it will uh, show the information about those articles when you add them which I'm gonna show you later on now it is empty that's why there is no items in this view so let's uh, first let's add three article um, so for that let's create a folder first so let's uh, say folder is dairy science so you are doing research on dairy science so let's click ok so now you can see dairy science is in your library and it's empty again because there is nothing so now let's go to the uh, google scholar to see some of the some of the articles on dairy nutrition so now let's type dairy nutrition so that is the first article we can see here so let's click this so this is the first article now if you click to the extension and if you click Jotro connector and now you can save it to the folder you already created in your Jotro so it is automatically showing this uh, folder here and it is only showing one folder because you have only created one folder so let's click click dairy science and let's click done and now if you go to Jotro you can see there is already one article so that was the first article let's add second article again uh, let's um, use PubMed for now so PubMed is another library where you can download a lot of articles which is basically a repository so let's again type the keyword dairy nutrition so let's say you want to get uh, you want to download uh, this article so now again let's go to 
extension and let's click Jotro connector and now it is saving to data science folder so click done and now if you go to Jotro there is second article which is um, this so that was your first article that, that is your second article and let's add one more article the last one for today um, so let's go to PubMed again and let's type uh, dairy enzyme so let's say this is the article you are looking for and then let's go to extension here and then let's click Jotro connector and let's click done and now if you go to Jotro so those three are the things you are downloading from the um, from the website or internet so and if you click this article on your right you can see all the info that's the abstract of that article uh, there are five author there are actually eight authors one two three four five six seven eight authors that's the title and if you go down that's the name of the journal and if you go to the volume that's the volume name that's the issue name and that's the page number and that's the link and for example if you want to edit the journal name for some reason that journal is wrong then you can just delete that and then write journal of dairy science so let's say that's the journal of dairy science mm. and then you can edit volume as well so volume is let's say 150 this is just an example guys and again if you want to edit the second one you can do that in the same way that's from the British Journal of Nutrition and that's the abstract there are five authors so th these are the articles which you are using for your uh, essay or manuscript and now let's go to the word and let's write a new manuscript so for example you are writing introduction and at the end there are references so remember I told you about Jotro plugin um, which you need while you are writing your manuscript so if you click to the Jotro plugin uh, you can see something like this and you can add citation here you clicking this part and you can add references which is the end part and if you want to know the difference between citation and referencing um, I'll put my other video in the link as well and you can get that video from I bottom as well and if you click this document preferences then you can click all the citation styles if you want to know different citation styles again um, I have put that in my other video which you can see in my channel and if you want to select let's say American Psychological Association which is over here that is uh, one of the most common APA style um, which is generally used in science and if you want to um, use nature style it's here if you want to use Alcivar style which is here if you want to use MLA style which is here modern language association so for now let's click um, APA style and click OK so now let's write an article uh, there is um, let's write some um, random introduction dairy science is one of the most popular field of animal science so this is a this is just an example guys so now you want to add a citation um, from Jotro so what you can do is let's click here and let's go to add citation and then let's click here and let's go to classic view now you can see those three are the articles which you downloaded so let's say you want to cite this article so click here so remember I downloaded three articles just to show you and then click OK. Now you can see it's automatically adding the citation. And then you when you add citation you need to add references at the end. So let's click this add edit bibliography and now it is automatically showing everything. So these are the author name that's the date that's the title of the article that's the journal and then that's the volume and that's the page number and uh, in some journal they require um, 
URL and for some journal they may not need URL. So if you want to remove the URL, what you can do is go to Zotero app, go to edit, go to preference and go to site and then go to click or unclick. So if you um, unclick, then there will be no, no URL and if you click, there will be a URL. So check or uncheck, that's how you do it. And now let's add another citation. Uh, let's add another sentence. Uh, nutrition has a big effect on dairy cows. So that is your uh, sentence and you want to add another citation. So let's, uh, we already added uh, the paper by Tad SC. Now let's add um, from another paper, again classic view and let's add this article. So click here that's a from that's the article from pan et al and it's already showing and the article in the reference so it's very easy it's super super useful and let's say you want to add another citation as well thiamine affects on the the health of dairy cows so that's your sentence and then let's again add citation let's click classic view and then let's click the use uh, let's uh, select this article and now again it's automatically adding citation and it's automatically adding uh, the reference and for some reason you need to manually edit what you can do is select all the references control c and then go down and then um, put this um, copy using paste using that option so keep text only and then you can remove your uh, url as well from here if you want to do that and then if you click this and if you click ctrl t that's how the references will look like and you can also edit using paragraph options so for example if you want to do double so that's how it will look like so that's the same. So this is linked to the Zotero and this is not linked to the Zotero. And you can highlight that uh, just for your reference for now. So it depends on how you wanna do it, but uh, a really easy way to add the citation. And we added three citations and three references and it's very easy. And you can um, go and check the other functionalities of this, uh, this Zotero uh, when, whenever you have time. Um, so it may not be possible to show everything in one video, but uh, um, whenever you have time, you can uh, explore more about Zotero. And the other good thing about Zotero is you can add a new library as well and a new group as well if you click this option here. And then um, that will take you to the website and then you can link with other people uh, who are in dairy science and you can invite them as well if you want to. You can invite your lab, lab members. So that's the name of your group and you can create group and then save settings. Setting saves and go to groups. So that's the name of your group and you can click manage members and then send more invitations. So you can send invitation to a person who is from your lab mem lab as well. So invite members, so and that person will be invited. So that's how you can create a group. So that's how this Zotero works. That's how you can download all the articles, um, all the papers and uh, edit uh, papers, uh, edit journal articles um, and add citations and references. I hope this video is useful to you, you guys. If you find this video useful, uh, don't forget to uh, put your comment down below in the comment section and also do not forget to subscribe to our channel. I'll see you again in next video. Until then, bye. Thank you.